Hello everyone. Let's start with the next topic that is practice questions. So we haven't done uh, some questions to practice the concepts of if and else. So let's do that. Uh, we will do a couple of questions. So let's start with the first. That is very easy. So write a program to enter a number from user and check if it is greater than 5 or 10 for example or not okay so this is our question we have to take a number from user and check if it is greater than 10 or not okay so we can do this using if and else very easy let's take a value from user make sure it is an integer as the question said so <clears throat> so let me enter some message and a number okay so whatever the number is it will be converted into integer and will be assigned into a so let's check if this a is greater than 10 or not if it is greater than 10 that means we are going to print greater okay and if it is not then we will print small uh, there can be one more case that is um, when a is equals to 10 so we can add that as well so let me add uh, that condition as well if a is equals to equals to 10 this should print equal okay so this is how we can uh, write our logic so the first condition if, if it is greater then it will print greater if it is equal it will print equal otherwise all the other cases will be um, smaller simple so if i enter three it is smaller if i enter 10 it will be equal and if i enter 100 it will be greater correct so this is our first questions question so let me move to the second one the second question is write a program to enter a number not a number enter three numbers from user and check or and print the greater number okay so <clears throat> let me run this so we have to take three numbers from user so it is very easy to take three numbers so we can use and use input and a first number okay so let me copy this let me write b is equals to something let me remove this as well and c is equal to something let me remove this as well so this way we can take multiple values second and third we can use some other data structures also but we haven't uh, learned that so we are going to use simple values okay so once all the values are here how can we compare multiple values so let's compare two values first let's take who is greater between a and b okay if a is greater then we will compare a with c and if b is greater we will compare b with c okay so let's do that let me take an example um, we can use the variable again like this so let's compare values so if a is greater than or equals to b okay if a is greater than or equals to b what we can do we can store this value into greater value inside a variable okay so or we will going to compare that as well so if this is true let's check one more thing if a is greater than equals to c also 
okay we can use a single if will or with or operator but we are using nested if else okay so first condition is if a is greater than or equals to b uh, if this is equal we can use any of them but uh, it doesn't uh, matter if you use b or a whatever but if b a is greater a will jump here this will jump here and check this condition if it is greater than c greater than b and greater than c our number will should print greater is equals to a a is the greatest number between these three if a is greater than b but not greater than c that means it is greater than c. Um, uh, this greatest number is greater is equals to c okay and if this condition falls we can use an else for this particular part so if a is not greater than or equals to b what will happen so we can use print greater is equals to b okay so let's run this and check if it is working properly so if i enter 10 then 20 and 30 greater is equals to 20 so there's an issue with this so the issue is we are going we are using um three here so let's me if b is greater okay we didn't compare b and c also so let me write this so if i write if uh, this else will work when this condition become false that means b is greater once b is greater we can also use this if this is greater than so i'm going to use greater is equals to if b is greater b should be printed else c should be printed okay so let me run this if i enter 10 then 20 then 30 so this will work okay let's enter another value so if i write 30 then 20 then 15 okay so 30 is greater okay so a and b both conditions are working so we can do this so using if and else we are we can solve this question okay so let's move to our next question what type of questions we can solve with if else so let's try write a program to enter a, a number between 0 to 10 0 to 9 okay and print its character form. we can use this question as well this is a very good question so if you are if you are going to solve this by yourself solve in the same order i'm solving this okay this should this will help you build the logic okay so um, we have to enter a number from user we're going to use this same okay so it will enter a number it should be between 0 to 9 okay so we can use a single condition for this but i'm going to use the same for um i'm going to use the um, same condition to solve this so i am considering this question as user will going to enter between 0 to 9 okay so you can use if and else for this to check if it is greater than 10 so with jack 10 print a message i'm going to directly uh, use this as user will enter 0 between 0 to 9 okay so if the user will enter the number and if it is 0 the output should be the output should be character form we can write like this okay z again um, for alif we are going to use if a is equals to equals to one print one easy let's move again again i'm going to use else if a is equals to alif uh, a is equals to equals to two it should print two okay 
So T W O. What's the issue with this lamp? Sorry. Okay, sorry. Let's move to the next question. That is L F. A is equals to equals to three. Let's print something. Print. Okay. So that way you can use a like. Let me do that as well. For every number, we are going to use this. So three. This will be four. Um, four will be printed here. This will be five. Five will be printed here. Okay. What happened? Let me do that. Sorry for this. Okay. You can skip. Okay. Uh, okay. So let me use the six one. This will be my seven. This will be my eight. This will be my nine. Okay. So five. This will be six. Okay. This will be my seven. Eight and this will be my nine. Okay. So all the numbers are converted into, or you can use a last else. So that it will print if there is no number between zero to nine, it should print incorrect value or whatever the message or invalid value. Okay, let's run this. If I run this and enter four, it will print four. So you can give any number and it will return that number. Okay, so that's it. This is how it works. If you enter any other number, for example, if I write ten, it will print incorrect value. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. Let's move on to our next topic. Next question, sorry. Uh, my next question is: Write a program to add a uh, number, not number this time. Let's use a character. So, enter a number, enter a character from user, and check if it is. Vowel or consonant. Okay, so um, sorry. So um, enter a character from user. For example, user entered small a. So output should be vowel. If it uh, the user enter uh, b, so the output should be consonant. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. Let's use that values. So. How many vowels are there? There are five vowels. A E I O U. We are going to use that. So let me take a value from user. So I have this. Okay. This time we don't have to convert this into integer because we are uh, getting character from user. Okay. Now let me check this. Change this for C H. For example, C H is my name of the value. Okay. So now if um, I I have to check for five values only, uh, and I am only working on um, small characters currently. You can add your conditions with for uh, capital letters also, but I am focusing on single uh, small letters. Okay, lower case, lower camel case notations. Okay, so um, I have to check for five numbers, five characters. Enter a character. Okay, so let me check for the first condition. That is ch. If ch is equals to equals to small a, this should be or this will be our vowel. Okay, correct. We can use lf for the same. Ch is equals to equals to a e. Okay, we are going to use vowel. Okay. So we are going to use vowel again and again. Let me copy this. So there are five conditions for this: a, e, i, o, and u. For all these five conditions, the output should be vowel. And if the number is not small, not in uh, vowel, the output should be consonant okay correct if you enter b here the output will be consonant if you enter i here 
the output will be raw. Okay. Uh, as I said, we are focusing on only small letters. Now the issue with this is you are using the same code inside each of each block. So we can can we uh, can there is a way so that we can combine all these into a one uh, statement or one block. So let's do this. We already know how and and or logical operators works. So we are going to use those. Okay. So if I write the same logic, sorry, let me copy the previous one. Okay. This time I'm not going to use any else. So condition here is you have, you have to use only one if and there's only one else. Okay. We are not going to use else or else. Okay. So we can use our logical operator. So if any of the condition is one, the output will be one or any of the condition is true. The output will be true. We already know this in our binary operator we have worked on. That is logical operator. Okay. So in logical operators we use or so we're going to use or here. Uh, we cannot check this with multiple values like this, A, B, C, D like this. No, we are going, not going to use that because this is not the proper syntax. So this is our first condition. Now my second condition will be A, E. Now my third condition will be CH is equals to equals to I. Now my fourth condition will be CH is equals to equals to O. Okay. And the last condition will be, this will be or CH is equals to equals to U. Okay. So how or will work? This will compare both the values. If CH is equals to A, this will be true. And in or logic gauge, if any of the condition is true, it will give the output of true. Okay. Any one is true. Okay. If all of them are false, then only the or condition will be false. Otherwise, this is true. Okay. Let me run this. If I enter small a, it will print vowel. Correct. If I enter z, it will print console. Correct. So it's working properly. So this is how you solve this particular question uh, in this way. Because we are using the same line of code in each of the conditions. Why don't we combine them into one? Okay. So this is how you solve these questions. So you can once you understand all the logic you can solve these questions by your own again so this will help you build the logic okay so that's it these are some questions let's move to the next topic bye, -bye.